Hey guys, what's going on? It's Terry back here with you. I just want to uh, do a video on some upcoming horror movie because um, there's a lot of good stuff coming out later on this year, and it's kind of like wanted to like you know talk about some of the upcoming horror movies that I'm excited for and um, see which ones you guys are excited for. So I um, hope you guys are having a great night. You know the weekend's almost here. Thank God. So um, anyway, like let's dig in. I know like there was movies that were supposed to come out last year that were pushed back to this year because of covid uh there's the new candy man that that, that thing has been pushed back like three different times now there's the new texas chainsaw massacre which i believe that originally was supposed to set to release this year so hopefully everything is still on track for that one there's the new conjuring the devil made me do it movie which doesn't look too bad there's Terrifier 2, which I am really excited for that one. And there's the Chucky the TV series, which I'm pretty, pretty excited for. But my main one, of course, probably like every one of you guys is, is Halloween Kills. I cannot wait for Halloween Kills. I was so, it was actually on my birthday of last year, July 8th, when they announced that it was going to get pushed back a whole year. And that was not really the thing that I wanted to get on my birthday. I mean, um... I was just so bummed about it and all that. But now, you know, push back almost a year later. We're, you know, almost in the summertime. And I'm hoping that poster drops any day now for it. I am just, God, I, I just want the poster. You know, I'm kind of iffy on watching the trailer because I believe that back for Halloween 2018, they just, there was just way too much stuff that was shown in the trailers. And I was just kind of, I felt like I should have just went into Halloween 18 without watching the trailer. So, my lesson learned on that one. But for Halloween Kills, I would love to do a video breakdown on the trailer when it does drop. But I'm kind of like still iffy because I'll kinda, I just want to walk into the theater and just be like surprised about it. And um, But with Halloween Kills being the number one, I have to say that the, tex the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre is probably my second top favorite one. It's just because the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original one, is up there with Halloween. It's just one of my all-time favorite horror movies. And I know, like, the last installments, the Leatherface with Steven Dorff and the Texas Chainsaw 3D ones, they weren't necessarily the best. And especially for Leatherface, the late last one that came out, I was so excited for it. And when I found out that Steven Dorff was going to be on it, you know, I'm a huge fan of him. I thought he you know, kicked ass and killed it in Blade. And he's just a good actor. So I was like really excited, you know, getting hyped up for Leatherface when it was coming out and this and that. And watching the movie, it was just kind of like, whoa. Like it had some decent moments, like the beginning of it and the end of it. But like the rest of the movie just kind of had me thrown off, especially when that that heavier set kid got shot in the head. I was expecting him to be Leatherface, not the little skinnier pretty boy. But anyway, it was... It was what it was. I mean, it just, it really, some people like it, some people hate it. To me, I wasn't a fan. It, to me, it just wasn't the Texas Chainsaw sequel that I was wanting. I really enjoyed the 2003 remake with Jessica Biel and uh, the beginning. That one was really fucking hardcore. I remember seeing both of those in the theaters when they opened. And I did see the Texas Chainsaw 3D and 3D in the theaters, but I just wasn't that impressed with it and um i'm really hoping that they um really just this new one coming out i hope it's just everything that a true texas chainsaw sequel should be and i hope that it's just really good this and that and it's like halloween kills i'm super stoked for it but uh the next other top favorite movie that I'm excited for is Terrifier 2. I loved Terrifier. That was a just straight balls to the wall horror movie. And the whole clown thing, like, the, the I, I don't mind the it movies. I do like them. But when I first, you know, saw Terrifier, I was just like, oh man, like, this is just going to be, you know, something low budget, which it was. But I mean, it just, man, it, that movie packed a punch and it was just so gory. And I am just beyond ready for the second one. I think it's going to be good. I think that Damien, the director of it, is going to go beyond what the first one was. And there's going to be more gore, more, you know, I mean, than the first one when the 
girl gets sawed down the middle. I mean, it don't get no more brutal than that. So I'm really excited to see like what's in store for Terrifier 2. The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It is also coming out, which the Conjuring movies, I've seen them, but I wasn't the biggest fan, but the new one looks okay. So maybe I might get, go see that on a $5 movie night. It's just one that I'm really not too excited to see. Um, next up on the horror list is Spiral, The Book of Saw, the next Saw movie that's coming out. So I figured that one, I actually got some free movie tickets, so I will probably go see that one because it's coming out in like two, three weeks. That'll be the next movie I go see, and um, I'm kind of 50-50 about it because the Saw movies, there's some that I like, and then there's some that were just kind of bleh. But, I mean, I'm kind of excited to see, like, what the new take on it's going to be, like, what the new direction, like, they're going to go into. And, um, you know, I think it'll be a free movie ticket. It's a free movie, so, I mean, what the hell. Give it a shot and, you know, see how it turns out. But um, another, it's not really a movie, but it's a show. It's Chucky, the TV series, which I'm kind of really excited for because I enjoyed Cult of Chucky and I enjoyed Curse of Chucky. And uh, Alex Vincent, Andy Barkley, and Kyle from Child's Play 2, they're coming back for the series. You know, of course, Jennifer Tilly is going to be in it. Brad Dorf is voicing Chucky. So I am actually really excited. I, I cannot wait for this show to come out because I think it's going to be really good. I know a lot of people didn't care for Colt to Chucky that much, but I, I loved it. I thought it was great. And I loved seeing Andy Barkley come back and it being Alex Vincent, the original Andy from the first two films, was really cool. And so I am definitely looking forward to that show, which is coming to Sci-Fi in USA this fall. And I still got to say Halloween Kills, though. For me, it's it's got to be Halloween Kills. I'm sure these are all going to be good movies, but to me, Halloween Kills is going to be the best one. My least favorite one that I really kind of iffy is kind of Candyman, just because I never really got into... I don't know. It was just like one of those things I watched it as a kid, and I, it kind of just didn't... It didn't stick with me like how Jason, Freddy Krueger, and Michael Myers did. But, um, you know, for what it is, I mean, I'm sure it'll have some decent good moments in it. So, I mean, I'll probably end up giving it a shot. And if not, then I'll just red box it whenever it comes out. But also, um, I also wanted to let you guys know that I'm still new to YouTube here. But once I get to that 50 subscriber mark, I want to do a giveaway. I'm either going to do like a, it could be a NECA figure. It could be a whore band t-shirt. Or I can maybe reach out to someone in the connections that I have to the Friday the 13th franchise or Halloween and maybe get a signed 8x10 for you. But as soon as I hit that 50 subscriber mark, I want to do a free giveaway for you guys. And let me know, like, what are you, what horror movies that are up, coming up are you guys most excited for? Please let me know in the comments and uh, if there's any kind of horror movie you guys want me to review or do a video on or a hard rock heavy metal album, just please, like, let me know in the comments and... Um, once I get to that 50 subscriber mark, it's going to be free giveaway time. So as always, thank you guys for stopping in and watching for all my subscribers and watchers. You guys rock. Until then, stay safe and keep it metal. Till the next time.